guys, so it's time for March favorites. And my first one I have been excited about for quite a while. This is my BB-8 kitchen timer that Nathan got me for Valentine's Day, but I hadn't used it that much before the end of February. I wanted to give it a good month before I put it in my favorites. This guy is so cute. I hate kitchen timers because they make that meh, meh, meh noise. Um, and I don't always like putting a timer on my phone when I'm cooking, sometimes because it's charging in the other room, sometimes because it has no battery at all, sometimes because my hands are covered in something and I don't want to touch my phone with it. Um, so this little guy has been my kitchen assistant and the best thing about him is he doesn't just make a bell noise, he actually makes R2, I mean BB-8 noises when the time is up. So he makes a little noise to let you know he started. His little eyeball lights up. And then I have just put this on timer for like two minutes. So in a little while, he will alert us that two minutes have passed. Let me put him back there so you can kind of see him in the background. Okay, my next favorite thing of the month is I have returned to Wreck This Journal. I did this a couple years ago. And um, anyway, I have come back to it. I might flip through and show you a lot of the pages that I've done. Um, if you haven't seen this before, it has prompts. Like this page said, tear this page out, put it in your pocket, put it through the washing machine and stick it back in. So as you can see, it got totally messed up and then I put tape over it and put it back in. Um, this one, this is against my perfectionism. It's like therapy for me. Scribble recklessly with wild abandon. Um, collect fruit stickers. This is one of my favorite pages. So if you guys are interested, I'll do a video showing the pages that I've done in here so far, but I really suggest this. It's really a lot of fun and it's a good tangible way to fight your perfectionist tendencies because some of these you really will not want to do. Some of them I still haven't brought myself um, to do. Some of them are fun. Some of them are kind of like, oh my goodness, do you really want, like this one you had to tear strips out of the book. Anyway, some of it's destructive, some of it's creative, but all of it is very fun and therapeutic. So this is one of my favorite things. Um, it was my birthday this month, and for my birthday, we went to see Beauty and the Beast. Um, I've had this tea set since I was like five. For my fifth birthday, we went to Beauty and the Beast in theaters. And so for my 31st birthday, we went to the remake, and it was so good. I never like remakes of things but I loved this one. I had like a single tear of joy, which never happens to me. I'm not a happy crier, um, but it was really, oh, there goes the VA. How cute. How cute is that? So he lets, you done? Uh, he lets me know when my tea is ready in the morning. He times when I'm cooking. He's just my little kitchen assistant. And uh, he only makes the noise one time, so you do have to be like in the room or within earshot. But I love that. I love that it just doesn't keep going off and off and off because sometimes when you're cooking, you're in the middle of doing the next part and you're like, yes, that's ready to be taken out of the oven. But right now, my hands are like, you know, elbow deep in whatever else that I'm cooking. So, love him. Love Beauty and the Beast. And this is a video game. So I've never been that much into video games. I loved computer games growing up. We did lots of different ones. King's Quest was my absolute favorite. Does anybody remember King's Quest? Let me know in comments. Um, and Nathan grew up playing video games. So he's been trying to teach me since we've gotten married, but I get really frustrated because like he has a lifetime experience and I have three years. But this game is so beautiful and it's so fun and so far it hasn't been too hard. It's very open world so I'm able to just run around in the part that's not too hard for me. Like I'm a little bit afraid it might get too hard before the end but it isn't so far and what I've played so far is worth playing. Like it's so pretty. It looks like this. Video games are not always pretty but this one really is. And it's kind of King's Quest-y in that there's quests and stuff. And it's not too obvious. There's puzzles that make your brain work. And um, we got it on the Nintendo Switch and I find that controller much easier to use than a lot of the other ones for some reason. So I'm really, really enjoying, enjoying this. So if you're kind of on the fence about video games 
you might like this one. Um, I, for the first few days, Nathan just played it and I just watched him because it was captivating. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Oh, can you see how gorgeous this art is? Like, this has paint strokes, which obviously the game doesn't, but it has such a beautiful, like, quality of light and color, and they worked for years on the design of this. There's no glitches. Like, one of the games that we do play is Lego, like some of the Lego games, and they're fun, but they are so glitchy. And then I get really aggravated that I've, like, put forth all this effort to try and pass the level, and then it glitches out and we have to start again. We've been playing this for weeks and not a single glitch, so... Uh, kudos to the people who did this Zelda design. Um, it has inspired me. I want to do like a travel poster. I've been wanting to do a set of travel posters anyway for like Bag In and maybe a Doctor Who one. And now I have to add Hyrule to the list because it's gorgeous and I've been spending a lot of time there lately. Okay, last thing. We've been subscribed to Loot Crate for over a year, maybe two years, and I'm kind of always been on the fence about it because we're trying to take this step away from keeping everything that comes into the house and being more intentional about the objects that we own rather than just keeping everything. Um, Cause we both, uh, we can have some little bit of hoarder tendencies, <laughs> me especially. Um, so sometimes things will come in and we don't necessarily keep all of them. We'll either re-gift them or donate them. And so, then they added a t-shirt and I was like, okay, well, for the price of that, at least we get a t-shirt every month. But two months ago, they incorporated the secret order of keys, which is so cool. <laughs> um, it's puzzles. It's kind of back to the Zelda thing. I love like brain puzzles that make your brain think. A lot of times lately I've noticed like there's this new thing with video games and computer games where everything's easy everything's obvious and this is not <laughs> um it's really really fun there's like uh maps and codes and you have to pass the codes and stuff and the people who finish it first get an extra piece of loot the next month and our first extra piece of loot for solving these was a secret order of keys it looks just like this i'll put the picture up a secret order of keys pen which is so cool I don't know what we're gonna get this month but we had a lot of fun like it's hours of entertainment we sit there working through it together trying to figure it out and you actually use the objects from the loot crate box in combination with like maps and printouts and stuff to crack codes and to figure out the answers and then you put it into their website and see if you've got the right answer so this has been so much fun I used to love reading mysteries and things like that when I was little and this has really inspired me like I think this would be super fun for adventure camp if I could learn how to make codes that were actually challenging <laughs> to crack um, so it's definitely got me inspired in a bunch of different ways to um, see what I can cook up for myself because I have so much fun doing these I think that would be so adventurous and fun to have as a part of camp in the fall so I'm gonna kind of like try to soak in what they're doing and maybe it won't be exact replication it'll be more like campy this one's a little bit more like I don't know it's different every month we've only had it two months but anyway it is super fun so those are my favorite things for the month I'm gonna stop there would not ramble on anymore I would love to know what you enjoyed in the month of March let me know in comments below and I'll see you next time cheers mm -hmm.